So I thought, well, this is going to be interesting. If I really go for this, who knows what will become of me? Who knows what will become of my career aspirations or my worldly life aspirations? I don't know. I'm just going to die then, but I have no idea what will become of me. So that's, that's more at the beginning of the spectrum when you first start to get your calling. And many of you can relate to that. You know exactly what I'm talking about, because we've gone through this feeling of like we're we're receiving a calling. Not always like a, a clear-cut calling, like uh, like Mother Teresa of, of Calcutta, you know, she was on a train in India, in rural India, when she got her calling. But her calling was really to serve the poorest of the poor, and, and it was quite clear-cut, and she went right about it, and she stayed with it for decades. But some of you are noticing that you're getting a calling, but it's, it's not coming with that same clear direction of specificity that Mother Teresa had. Even Gandhi, you know, when he was getting into his calling, um, he could feel it coming, but he went over to South Africa, and then when he came back from South Africa, he, he basically toured all over India because he felt this calling, but he didn't know exactly what it was, so he thought, I better go meet the people. So he took trains all over India, just to really hone in on what is that calling. How does this play out for me? Of course, in miracles would call it your special function. You have a special function, using your skills and abilities that you developed on an, on an ego framework, but then when you give them over to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will use those same abilities and skills that are already there, to unwind you from the self-concept, and bless the whole universe. So whatever those skills are. 